Welcome to Sports and Touring, and today we've got a slightly different video for you, a bit of an update, and Damani tells me some things arrived in the post, in fact two things, and well, we thought you'd like to see them. First up, I've just come back from having a quote done on the Z. I think I showed you before, there was some defects in the paint on the front bumper. I had to have it repaired a while back, and let's just say the paint finish wasn't done that well so I found a new body shop that I'm taking it to and I had to take something else with me these particular carbon fiber parts that I showed you in a previous video I've just got a quote on having the front bumper cleaned up in terms of the paintwork and having all the carbon fiber parts fitted now there's a little bit more to it than that because the car is so low I really don't think the front splitter is actually going to survive so I'm actually going to be taking the suspension up just slightly in order to give it a little bit of clearance and then the rest will rely on the front lift on the car right so I'm going to get these put away in the garage and then get inside and see what it is that demand is all excited about Right, so we've got these two things in the mail and I can't wait to open them. The first thing's an envelope with some sticky notes on it to cover up important information. Now this is the launch book for the R8 GT Spider. Uh, it's a sort of hardback, boxed, finished brochure for the car and thought it would be a really nice thing to have kind of with the car as you know, a part of the ownership experience that maybe I can pass on to the next owner. Here we go. There we Ooh. go. Oh, wow, that is in pristine condition. Got a nice magnetic uh, action there, which nice, is nice. nice. Oh, wow. Nice uh, lever to pull it up so that you don't have to force it out. That's nice. Right, and here's the book. Obviously, just like the real car, it has to tell you every uh, every second that it's an R8 GT, just to remind <laughs> you. So apparently these books came out in 2011 as the sort of brochure for for the Spider that was going to be delivered in 2012. Oh, look at that. That, that is nice. Oh, sorry. Oh, Hello. with the top with the roof up. The Audi R8 will change everything you knew about the open top driving. It's more intensive, more exhilarating, more athletic. Every drive it will thrill you, whatever the weather. Up, well, yep. down. Wee -hee. And that's how you want to drive it most of the time. But unfortunately we live in the UK so that's only about 10% of the time. <laughs> Bow! I like how they do this, it shows the same angle with the flip out of the top up and top down. Yeah, it's very nice. I think it's a very nice touch that I did. Absolutely. The story behind this is that my friend Jonathan, who you would have seen in a previous video, the silver GT that I went out driving with on the night my car broke down, he sent me a couple of links. Now, I clicked on both of them and I felt like this one looked like it was going to be of better quality. So the cool thing is, Having chosen this one over the alternative that was available on eBay, the owner of this, or former owner of this, sent me a message to say, oh, are you a fan or an existing owner? I answered that obviously I was uh, an owner. I sent him a link to our reveal video, and he came back and he said, I recognize that number plate. Next thing I know, he's sending me pictures of the original German plates, because it was a German factory collection, uh, a picture of the car when the original owner had it and it turns out this guy who had this brochure was the uh, R8 specialist at the dealership that did the sale for the German factory collection. Couldn't believe it, couldn't believe it. So he actually was from the dealership that sold my car as new to its original owner and it turns out that the original owner had a business partner and he bought an R8 GT, uh, an orange one. It was just bizarre that that this book was in the hands of the dealer who sold my car. Oh, and Damani's found the options list. Yeah, so it's got all the options and the prices. So you can see here, RHGT Spider, 158,000 pound car, brand new. 
Now you've got the different paint finishes. You've got our car, which is uh, glacier white. Only came in a black. They didn't allow you to put the red or other colors that you could do on the standard car for the GT. Thank goodness. <laughs> Interior, you could either get Alcantara back with uh, titanium grey contrast stitching or Alcantara black with uh, crimson red uh, contrasting stitching so our car is the titanium grey uh, yeah. I think that was the right option because it matches the paint really nicely mm -hmm. uh, Audi exclusive uh, sport bucket seats uh, which is what we have we've got the GT logo on our bucket seats so that's an extra 450 uh, the wheel options the wheels that we have on our car the forged aluminium wheels five spoke design wide design and titanium look and then you can also go for the Audi exclusive forged aluminium wheels. Pro knowing me, at the time, I probably would have gone for this one. I can see what you mean, it is quite less fussy and it's quite nice, but it almost, to me, just looks a bit like a standard, too much like a standard Audi wheel, like you get those wheels on like an RS4. Whereas, I see what you mean. Like, that would look good on RS4, that would look good on a lot of cars, whereas this is very like exclusive and very specific. Well, we're gonna spend some time geeking out over that later now, on to the next thing, which is a slightly bigger box. Now this was a birthday present from Damani to me. Uh, uh, Christmas present. Christmas like. present. Uh, yeah, because you didn't know what you wanted for Christmas, and then I thought of a great idea, uh, and then it turns out that these are actually ridiculously rare. So it took me ages to find one. Couldn't find it around Christmas time, so I ended up getting you a pair of headphones for editing separately. Uh, and then, in recent weeks, I stumbled across this one while uh, surfing the interwebs. And I'm really excited to get into it and see uh, if it's uh, in the condition that they, it's, they said it's in. So if you put the accessories in a separate box so that they stay in good condition. If anyone knows who uh, Fronty R are, then you might know what this could be. But seeing as uh, it's your present, why don't we let you open it? Wow. What do you think? That's amazing. <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's a uh, 2012 R8 GT Spider 1 18th scale uh, replica. But this is the car. Um, it's in the exact same spec, same wheels, same glacial white, uh, same with the carbon around the windscreen and the carbon here. And yeah, I just thought it'd be quite cool for him to have a model of his car so that if he ever gets rid of it, he'll forever remember the car that he once owned. <laughs> That's amazing. It is absolutely stunning. There you go. There's the plaque. Audi R8 GT Spider Frontier. So here, look. 47 out of 200. <laughs> it's rarer than so me. The reason I couldn't find it is because this is actually rarer than the car that's sitting outside. Um, uh, yeah, it, it was so difficult to find it, uh, but I managed to in the end, and now it's here. And it's, I do have to say, condition is immaculate. It is. Stunning. And it's crazy to see all of the details. Like, look at this. Look at the sort of carbon finish on the diffuser. I know, look at that, it's like so cool. And it's even got the same uh, brake calipers with the carbon ceramic brakes. It even has the little cutouts underneath the wing mirror. It's just a really, really good looking model. I'm actually looking forward to uh, seeing it next to the car, so maybe we should take it outside in a minute and see how it looks next to the car. But yeah, look at that carbon on the interior. It's got everything. So I do believe that it can, uh, it's held to this base with uh, a few screws underneath. So if we ever wanted to see the underside of it, we could uh, take it off 
and have a look at it but I think it just works really well in this display mount it comes with this uh, clear perspex display top so that can go over the top so you can have it out on your desk or on your shelf or wherever you want to put it and it will stay protected from dust and everything and but you can still see it in all of its glory a little card on the top certification uh, certification of the it's like a properly embossed card it's got the the number this was made in 2014 1 18th scale there we go uh, color white oh I've got fingerprints all over it okay that's gonna have to be cleaned now there you go it slides over the top just like that and look at that except for these uh, fingerprints <laughs> look at that and now we're just gonna have to find somewhere clear a shelf somewhere where we can put both of these things oh but wait you thought that was it no 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 <laughs> let's clear this stuff and in this box uh, that was shipped with it comes with a few accessories for the car so it comes with the black roof as we uh, as we know that is the roof that you can only get on the car it also comes with a red roof well we just saw from the spec book that it doesn't seem like you could get a red roof however i'm sure if you uh, asked audi politely enough they would uh, let you spec it with a red roof well with audi exclusive you can pretty much do whatever you want but it's just a question of how much oh, it's got little windows <laughs> it's got windows it even has the ridges along the roof of where the mechanism is on the actual car this is really good and with these little windows so that's, that's so cool so let's see how it looks on the car oh it's magnetic is that actually yeah that is wow. so cool look at that so it fits on there perfectly and it looks exactly like the real thing has the little window on the back as well uh do you mind if i give it a go yeah go on because I just want to see what the mechanism's like. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, so the actual magnets that are on the real car are the magnets that are used on this so that it attaches. That is freaking cool. Wow, look at that. That is very impressive. Uh, I think just like the real car, it's probably going to have its roof down most of the time, right? I think so. But you know what? I want to leave it with the roof on for now. Okay. I like I like the roof. I think it looks cool. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to keep it on there. And then if we want to show to anyone, we can take this off and mm. take the roof off. That way it's always there in the same place. So those are the two things that we got, both for the RHGT, the original book, and my dad's uh, Christmas present that I got for him. Uh, of the replica of his car in his spec. I hope you enjoyed joining us in unboxing the brochure and the incredible gift that Damani got for me, this 118 scale of the R8 GT Spider. It's very, very rare. Only 200 of them were ever made and uh, I feel really, really blessed to have both of those items along with the R8 GT. The best thing you can do to keep supporting the channel is watch through as far into our videos as you possibly can, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, choose notifications on all videos so YouTube knows to let you know every time one of our videos comes out. And we'll see you next time on Sports and Touring.